Well, hello there, everybody. It's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to the Adventures of The Sims 2, in which Mr. Squishy fights a bunch of people. Angel Cake is mad because she wants money and power. This great trip turned out to be horrible for everyone but Serene and Paul. <laughs> Super Paul. <laughs> They've just been having fun hanging out. Other people have been busy fighting. Hey. Hello, bikini lady. Uh, Mr. Squishy is like, after beating up some old people, I want to watch some old sim stuff. That kind of reminds me of the movies there. Like the games of movies. Creepy cats! They want your soul. No, Super Paul, why don't you... Why don't you hang out with Paranormal Penguin, dude? We should probably leave before too long because he's getting tired. Why don't you give her a hug? Come on, she, she she crawled into bed with you the other day. Let's see if we can get some hug action going on. Hey, girl. I just want a hug on you. We're in a weird, confusing part of our relationship. Yeah. We were friends, and then we're sleeping in the same bed. But we've not done anything sexual or kissed. Well, something just happened there with that hug. You must be a damn good hugger. What, do they get hit by love? Oh no. That went really fast. I didn't mean to go that fast. So, sh her enemy, Paranormal Penguin's enemy, is Mr. Squishy for God knows what reason. And she's in love, apparently, with Super Paul. Well, we're not going steady or anything. We're not dating. Master? I'll be your master! You can be my- oh, wait, that must be for pets. Never mind. Oh, he's thinking about love and Paranormal Penguin. Damn, Super Paul, that went way faster. What about going out and dating and getting to know some people? She's like, man, mm, you the bomb. You know what I mean? You're like a gold brick. You're like a fat sumo. What? It seemed like- no! The fat sumo- no! I am not a fat sumo. Uh, you getting tired, girl? It's like, mm, I want some love. All right. We'll call the cab and go home. We had a pretty good outing. Minus all the fighting. Oops, wrong guy. Can't believe she said I was fat like a sumo. Yeah, I'm a little overweight. Just because I wear a diaper like a sumo doesn't mean I'm like one. Don't worry, Paranormal Penguin. We're going home. You can go to bed. Super Paul's getting tired, too. Sirian, though, man. I think he's on cocaine. Because he's like... He's in the political world. He's up all night. He seems to have endless energy. We're gonna go home. This is pretty fun coming to the game out with, though. We should do this more often. Yeah, Jellyfields is getting tired. Mr. Squishy's already fallen asleep. <laughs> Old man sleep. Just sitting in the chair and you pass out. Come on, Mr. Squishy, we gotta go. Uh, there's the guy Mr. Squishy couldn't get along with. It was nice meeting you, Tucker Brown. It was nice meeting you, sexy bikini Michelle. Kind of nice meeting you, Colby. He's like, I'm only happy when it rains. Super Paul's like, yeah, me too. Oh, gotta go. Gotta go. Hey, hey, Mr. Squishy. Mr. Squishy gets along with... Oh, I'm sorry. Super Paul gets along with everybody. Sir Ian gets along with everybody. Jellyfields tolerates everybody. Can't say the same thing about Jellyfields and Paranormal Penguin, though. Bye, everybody! We'll miss you! I'm going home to sleep in my bed! Let's roll! Did we get everybody? Who are we missing? Oh, come on, Paranormal Penguin! Is that everybody? That was cool. We need to do more outing things, especially before everybody gets old and dies. That's kind of a dark sentiment, to say the least. That was fun, though. I enjoyed that. But this family, we can't take them anywhere. You turn your back on them, and the women are beating up old man Mr. Squishy. Angel Cake, when she moves out get mar gets married someday, if she does... She, when she's like, what, your family wasn't like that? Your parents and your, uh, the random old people that lived with you didn't beat up other old people? They'll be like, no, Angel Cake, that's not normal. <laughs> Stop hitting me. 
What I'm interested to see now is if I don't do anything, will Paranormal Penguin and Super Paul get in the same bed? Man, their love happens so fast. He jumped into her arms for a hug once, and she's like, ooh, I like this. And then she got in bed with him because she moved really quickly. Hey, there's Sir Ian. Oh, he's hanging out with uh, Angel Cave. That's cool. They're talking about ladies' hats for some reason. Hey, and Lauren's still rocking out on the guitar. Uh, apparently, they're not going to share a bed. Not so much for that thought. Why are you mad? Because Jellyfields beat you to it? Oh. Paranormal Penguin did not make it. Well, that happened. <laughs> Man, she got really exhausted by all that fighting with uh, Mr. Squishy. Oh, look! Luke is finally the first person who's going to use our TV! And there was television! And he turned it off. Alright, that was anticlimactic. And there was more television! Hmm, Simi R. I've got all your babies. I've got your babies too! I've got all the babies! They're all for me! I didn't even know there was going to be a baby thing on there, so that worked out well. In your new sim, Lincoln Seville, feel free to run over poor people. Yeah, you enjoying the TV there, Luke? What I would like to get for that is I would love to get a video game console. Maxis Game Simulator, pure 560 bucks? What is this, like the PS3 when it almost came out? Pure fun is right at the tip of your thumb. Hook the Maxis Game Simulator up to a TV, grab a controller, and enjoy hours and hours of synapse scrambling entertainment. Fight space aliens, race go karts, impress your friends, hum humiliate your family, or anything else you're game for. Alright, there we go. We got a gaming system. Hopefully that's automatically hooked up. Super Paul might try that. Mr. Squishy is losing enthusiasm about games. I just bought a game system, you old f fuck! Come on, bro! Did, uh, oh yeah, Remington the Maid must have cleaned up the pee puddle in the bedroom since the last episode or two. Are you leaving, Luke? Thanks for coming by, bro. Please do not swim in the middle of winter in our pool. Oh, what are you doing? He's like, ooh, there's a cute girl. What's up, girl? Let's play some games. Oh, bye, Lauren. Thanks for coming by. Sorry we abandoned you. I hope you had fun playing my uh, Sir Ian's guitar. Sir Ian, everyone he sees is like, yo. <laughs> now he's got his Hugh Hefner type robe on. <laughs> oh, are you going to be the first one to play the video games? Tell me you are, bro. At least you like that, right? Come on, Angel Cake, you want a gaming system? Nice. Yeah! That's what we bought it for you, girl. Ooh, it's working! She doesn't have to play on the computer anymore. Oh, it's kind of cool you can see the disc spin. I really... Let me get rid of that wall. There we go. That looks funny, though, that you can see the neighbors. You know what, she needs uh, some lights. Oh. She's playing in the dark. Not that, not that there's anything wrong with that. It's, that can be fun to do, but let's get some other fucking lights up in this house. Should we get a chandelier for a fancy room? How about one of these? We might need two lights. We'll put one over here. Wait, what was this one? Yeah, there we go. That's kind of nice. It's really kind of spacious yet, but but we'll work on it. We'll keep adding things. Looks really huge for a fucking TV room. I love this. Something's going right. Oh, and she likes it. You're welcome. 
Maybe Angel Cake will be happier and less angry now that she's got fun games to play. You want money and power? Well, I wanted to get you a job, but the problem is you don't go to school ever. I take that back. You go to school, you don't ever bother to do your homework. Like, if you want to do your homework, you can. I am trying to limit the amount I move. As you've seen before, though, I'm trying to limit the amount I control them. Unless it's something absolutely necessary, like a job, or to try and prevent them from leaving the house. You can never leave. What about you, teddy bear girl? Ooh, cook something for us all to eat. That sounds delicious. What do we got in here? Is that a bunch of candy corn? Who puts candy corn? And those are like marshmallow mallow pumpkins and beer. Well, okay, this fridge is not that bad after all, now that I think about it. Are you eating right out of the fridge, girl? Make something! Not that hard to make some food. <laughs> Paranormal Penguin is on the floor dreaming about herself. Super Paul's dreaming about some award. <laughs> We've got other beds, girl. Sir Ian had to take the master bed. Angel Cake, yeah, there's a bed right over there if you don't mind sleeping in a room with Super Paul. Come on, we got our sweet, ugly light. I need to add some decoration to this place eventually. This is one of the few times, I mean, the second time in this game, where I didn't have to speed time up because um, people were sleeping on their own. Oh! Paranormal Penguin is like, you know what, fuck this floor shit, why don't I sleep in a bed? Alright, you made the bed so you could... Oh, you just wanted to... Lay there and relax. I got you. Oh, because it wasn't comfortable sleeping on the floor. I believe that. Oh, good morning, Mr. Squishy. How are you? He's probably like, I had the worst day. Time for the morning grumpy dumpies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you need some charisma, bro. That's why you're not getting promoted at your stand-up comedy job. See, you, you need a schmooze. You're a stand-up comedian. Like, he does jokes and people laugh, and they're like, Hey, you're really funny. Would you like to work at my club? And he's like, Fuck you, everybody. Fuck all of you. You all want to fight me. I know it. I bet you that's his bit. He goes and does that, and everybody laughs because they're like, It's insane. But they don't realize that in his home, where he lives, lots of people do fight him yeah, all the yeah, time. Yeah. It's your own damn fault, old man, that you're not popular. No, maybe it's not just his own fault, but what does he want to do? He wants to talk about a hobby? He wants to dance with someone? Well, you've had tons of chances. Play guitar. There's a fucking guitar right out there you can play. Have a party. I don't know about having a party, bro. If we have a party, you're probably just going to fight with Jellyfields and Paranormal Penguin, like always, and it's going to be awkward. Is it Super Paul's day off today? Is it your day off too, Mr. Squishy? No. Because I was going to be like, I'll throw a party. Party for all of us. Let's speed things up a little bit. All right, Mr. Super Paul, that's me. Let us serve some breakfast. You need some cooking skill, bro. It's ridiculous. Get up. Get up and cook. People want their breakfast. We, we gotta get this more streamlined, Super Paul. People have, There we go. Mr. Squishy fulfilling his ambition to play guitar. He's actually good, though. He could win people over. Because if you're really good at playing guitar, people will watch and listen and like you a little more. Ew. What did you make? Breakfast shake, Super Paul? That's super shit. What are you mad about, Jellyfield? You're not comfortable? Well, I got something you can sit on. A nice soft chair right next to me. Or did you want my chair? So go fuck yourself. I 
I wonder if we should put another little dining area right here. Why don't we do that? Let's move the trash to, I don't know, like there. Hopefully that's not too cluttered. Oh look, it's snowing! It's really snowing! Will Santa come soon? Because that's nasty talk I really don't need to hear about. All right, we'll put a chair there. I'm sorry, a table there. Just some simple cheap chairs. It doesn't have to be anything special. There we go. Is there a window there too? Yeah, so you can have your breakfast or play some games and look out the window and just kind of enjoy the winter wonderland that's going on. I like that. Oh no, do not fight. Come on, Jellyfields, why don't you go out, instead of being mad at Mr. Squishy, go listen to him play some cool jams. Sir Ian, every time you walk by, it's like finger guns. He's like, yeah, I love these chairs. Sir Ian, you crack me the fuck up. He's like, I love this table too. Oh, Jellyfields approves, good. Now you don't all have to fight over these for breakfast. More people can sit down when they eat. Oh, Angel Cake's mad about power and money and wealth. Oh, but she loves these chairs. I can't believe these cheap chairs are such a success. Oh, you're off to work? Have fun uh, running the campaign, Sir Ian. Go help some loser politician get elected. I wonder if Sir Ian will become a politician eventually. He needs more logic points and more charisma to get a promotion. He's really good at the creative stuff, though. I think that's because he played so much guitar. Well, how do you do, Jellyfields? I'm studying cooking. Is that some Russian paper boy? He's like, no, I'm taking my time. Ha 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 that's stupid. <laughs> Super Paul, you need to learn how to cook. For some reason, cooking is a skill you need for your internet movie critic um, job. All right, so we've got that, and then we need to go practice charisma. That would make sense. You can go do that by uh, Jellyfields, or uh, Paranormal Penguin. You enjoy that shake. I put booze in it. Nothing like a morning booze shake to get you going. Come on, sir, uh, Mr. Squishy. Oh, I like the angel Kate still likes playing in the bathtub. Oh, she's nice. She's like, bye, Mr. Squishy. <laughs> don't, don't mind me there, paranormal penguin. Don't mind me with my no shirt on, practicing in the mirror, speeches. Why are you thinking of another man? I thought you loved me. Oh, you're thinking about me? Excellent. Practicing a speech about not recycling. I'm like, fuck recycling! Embrace genies! Why are you thinking about Blue Jay? I don't know who that is. We're all tied together. Oh, it's the music lady. She's like, Mr. Squishy, you were invited to the Mr. Squishy, or the... What's her name? The Noel Dance School. Oh man, Mr. Squishy's trying to start a fight. Do not start a fight, bro. Mr. Squishy is angry. Look at that face. Mr. Squishy, no, don't you do it. Do do not do that. No. Oh, my God. Like, I've got you blocked off so you're not going to fight Paranormal Penguin. I think she's mad because I think I'm in the way. <laughs> I wonder if I should put the mirror in, like, the master bedroom or something. Don't worry, Paranormal Penguin, I'll move as soon as I've leveled up and got better at my charisma for my job. Man, you got your butt kicked, Jellyfields. I don't feel bad, though, because I think you're the one who started the rivalry with him. Oh, it's on again! Mr. Squishy, come on. I'm trying to like you, Mr. Squishy, but you're making it really hard. Ew, that sounded wrong. <laughs> you're making it very difficult to like you when you are so busy fighting... Oh, there we go. Come on, Jellyfields, don't take that shit from him. 
All right, Jellyfields. Um, here. I, I'm gonna go admire Jellyfields. I'm gonna be like Jellyfields. I admire that you put up with this old man's crap. Oh shit! Paranormal Penguin was almost late for work because of me. That would have been bad. Sorry, girl. What are you looking at, Mr. Squishy? No way, Mr. Squishy. Oh, don't cry. They're jelly fields. Remington the maid's here. Everything will be fine. He'll clean up our mess. Oh, man. Do not come here with more bills. All right. Super Paul. I guess we'll pay some bills next time. <laughs> I'll let somebody else get the mail. Fuck it, it's probably bills. I don't want to deal with it. So what do we do now, Super Paul? Oh, we get naked in the shower. I guess that's where we're going to end it out on. That kind of depressing note. Mr. Squishy looks all fine and happy with himself. Jellyfields is crying, unfortunately, in the, you know, dining room area. Dining room kitchen. How could you, Mr. Squishy? I mean, I know they started the war... That doesn't mean you had to keep it going. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see y'all next time.